puck. Oh, let me move this. Shove out of the way too. Okay, go. Hey Google, turn off the stadium lights. Hey Google, turn off the stadium lights. Hey Google, turn on the stadium lights. Daddy! Hey Google, turn off the stadium lights. <gasps> More fun. <laughs> you want your stick? Here. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, oh nice shot. shot. That was the most controlled currency you got for Christmas. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, kids had a lot of fun tonight out on the rink. I uh, had a lot of fun watching them. It's good to see all that joy. Them playing outside, especially in the middle of the week on their own backyard rink. Some of the neighbor kids are over too. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is I... Uh, I heard a friend fell through his rink today, but he said it was three inches, so I don't know why his he broke through, but I thought I'd test mine out, and it didn't sink. I could hear it. I can hear it sinking a little and moving on the liner, but it's not really sinking. Not noticeable anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm going to sweep, or I shoveled first, and shoveling doesn't get all the snow. You can see how much snow's left over. But then I'm sweeping, and that gets 99% of the snow off the rink surface. It is a little pebbly. It's a little slow and bumpy. And I'm going to add some clear ice. I wanted some water, so I get clear ice. I wanted to add this water anyway, so I figured tonight's a good night. Now, the reason I'm sweeping is because if I only get enough time tonight and I'm too tired to do a second coat of water, all that snow is going to freeze right away and be all slush and bumpy again anyway. So this is the best chance I can have at making it smooth. I'm, I quit using a hose bony that I made because it doesn't really, it's just way quicker to do with the hose. I just spray it down on shower setting and it does a good enough job. Even with the slush, it, I wasn't getting... It was getting about the same surface. I'm sure I could use hot water, but I'm not that concerned. Quick sweep and I get pretty darn smooth ice surface. So here we go. Okay, so I just finished sweeping and then you can't lift snow out when you're sweeping. So I swept it all around the edges. So I just get in there with the shovel after and get it all out. So, now there's a bit of a difference that I do here. So I go and shovel all that out. Now, that's the south side of the rink. This is the north side of the rink. And the sun comes from that direction, from behind, and it because it's out of the south right now. And it shines pretty strong, and it always seems to melt the edges all along here on the north side. Because even though this is white, the plastic will heat up with the sun. You can see it's actually, the boards aren't right up against it. And because the ice is only floating and you get a bunch of weight as well, the ice will sink. But the main thing is it melts the edges. So I pile up the snow and then flood on there and that seems to help take the sting out of that. I guess it's a lack of a better term. Just kind of insulates it better away from the liner and it saves the edges of the rink on the north side. If it's cloudy, it's not a big deal, but it does build it up a bit. But that's just kind of a trick I use that seems to work. Not perfect, but I found it does save the edges on the north side of my rink quite a bit. So for those of you, oh, you can hear it moving around. Those of you who remembered a few days ago, so what is it, Thursday now? Monday, I fell through, and there's only an inch and a half of ice. So you can actually see the piece I laid back down. And it is a little uneven. I mean, you might notice that with a puck. Not with a skate, though. But tonight, that should... Uh, that should fix itself. I flooded it a couple times, but with one, maybe maybe two floods, that should be totally flat. So this has worked out well that it's got this cold this quick. We got one day this weekend, it's gonna go above zero. 
for a few hours during the day and it's going right back down well below zero. So this ice should firm up really, really nice. And I'm thinking the ponds are gonna be really nice too. So we might even be taking a break from this backyard rink and getting our legs, stretching our legs out, getting out on some big ponds because hockey is shut down because of COVID again. So there's no big ice to skate on indoors. So I found the best way to flood is to create a puddle and then just make it bigger. I'm using this method where I'm using the, uh, the shower setting. It seems to work the best because it's not, you know, it just spreads it out nice and evenly. You know, just blast the water on there. Well, I'm sure many of you have seen my videos before and how much I rave about this hose. The Flexi hose. Flexi, Flexi, Flexi hose. It's awesome. So you just turn the water off, open this valve, and I'm just draining it into the window well. That's it. Self drains, shrinks up to nothing. Way easier for clean up. And I just bring it in the house because I put it in a, in a container. So it is starting to freeze already. I've only put away the hose, which took me two minutes. And the last spot I did is already starting to crystallize. The far end's starting to look foggy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. It's uh, minus seven now, going down to minus eight overnight. So it's actually a really good time to flood. It's gonna look really good. When the ice first freezes, or if it gets really, really, really cold, it'll expand. You can actually see some of those bubbles out from where the crack extended from the corner there all the way across and then water came up through there but once uh once the bigger kids get out here skating that'll knock all those down i won't have to do any scraping that's why people worry so much about having perfect ice just get the kids skating on it 20 minutes in and the ice would be pretty darn smooth yeah it'll have snow on it but you can just shovel it or you can even sweep it for them this i'm just doing to build up the top layer to get a nice clear ice on there because of all the slush that had started out on my rink so but yeah just maintain try to give it a flood every time the kids use it when i can might come out here and do another one if it's frozen in an hour if i'm still awake so this is murphy's law in action here <laughs> there was all these snow squalls coming off the lake and they're way north of London. They weren't even pointed at us here in London. But <laughs> you flood the rink and it snows. So it's a little rough, but it's still way better than it was. And it's almost frozen. But I'm not going to be doing another flood tonight because if this squall does stick around, it'll just make a big mess out of this rink. So, but anyways, I at least got one good heavy flood in. So I'm happy with that.